What's up everybody, United Gamer here, welcome back to some more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last part, we finished up episode 3, and Constable Neela betrayed us, and now we gotta go rescue Sly and Murray, because Bentley's all by himself, so let's go ahead and get started. Jailbreak. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's Good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a 9 to 5 job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Bentley saves the gang. Bentley saves and the gang the gang. <laughs> Bentley stays the gang in jail, right? What's up, guys? You welcome back to some more slide, even though I've already said what's up. But whatever. We're going to be playing as Bentley. But let's go ahead and look and make sure we have nothing in Steve Net that we can come in handy with. Let's go ahead and sell all that stuff. Uh, we have a lot of stuff we can get here. Uh, we will need some of this. So we sell Sly, comment, and smoke bomb. Um, nothing too um, really necessary for right now. You will need some things, so be aware of that. Uh, to the house. Uh, here's uh, whatever he's saying. But you want to need some things later, especially if you're trying to platinum this. There's going to be stuff you need to buy in order to get all the platinum trophies. Um, I have platinum this and Sly 1, but yet to do Sly 3. So where do we need to go? I'm looking around. I don't... There. What the crap? How do I get up? Oh, gosh. I literally ran right in his light and he didn't see me. Awesome. Um, I'm honestly not sure where to go or anything. Oh, train! <laughs> it scared me. Okay. Um, I like episode 4 because it really adds on to the story. Um, I think it's really cool how they did that where Sly and whatever and Murray, the two big guys, get stuff of himself and now it's up to Bentley. Although I do find this very annoying. Um, you do not you do not just play with just Bentley in this. Um, you play with all three of them. It's just as for right now, you're only playing as Bentley until you rescue them. If that makes any sense. Uh, right now I'm trying to make it over here, but I guarantee I'm gonna get hit by a train. Oh, because I'm smart enough to move over to the right. But I get shocked. <laughs> um, I'm honestly not even sure pos uh, positively where to go. But, okay, that looks about right. I think I saw myself, or saw something up there. It's, you know, it's really good that I played through this game before I did anything. Cause look, I know, well, I was about to say I know Booby Traps are right here. Even though I just got hit by one. But I was about to say, yeah, I remember that there's um, these little traps right here. Just from playing through it. I remember that. How am I supposed to get up there? When I'm Bentley, I'm not Sly. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. Aha, the Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. Okay, so you're gonna have to use his sleep darts or whatever. Wrong one! What button is that? I can't even remember. 
All right, welcome back, guys. Sorry if you saw a cut out there. I couldn't remember how to shoot sleep darts. <laughs> it literally took me like five minutes to remember how. That's pathetic. Okay, but so what are we gonna have to do right here? Shoot the Contessa with our sleep darts. Is falling apart. Spice shipments have all but stopped. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Mari. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. That's like Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time! I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole! <laughs> Okay, so now we learned a little bit about where she's storing Sly in the hole and everything. So we gotta learn how to get him and Murray out because apparently she's gonna try to break Murray. Now watch out for these statues. They'll break loose and some of them will be real. Example right there. Okay, lay, lay some bombs. What the heck is shit in me? It's like a turret. Okay, where do I go? Looks like I gotta go over here. Okay. I, the one thing I don't like about this level is there's such a, it's such a big place. I don't know exactly where that little stuff is to go to, but... I suppose it isn't too bad. Okay, so what do we gotta do here? That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Okay, so we gotta hack six... Oh no! <laughs> Whatever things. Go ahead and lay some bombs on this guy. We don't want him disrupting our plan. Let's go ahead and do this. Now I like these right here, but I find them extremely annoying. Um, they're really kind of easy right now, but later on they'll get more difficult. In the direction I want to unleash my hacker coat. There we go. I don't really worry about these guys. You don't have to destroy them. You just gotta get through it. Easy enough. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. Oh, if it's picking up speed, I probably shouldn't be on the railroad tracks. <laughs> I got hit by a train. Don't Sly Cooper. 
I'm glad it doesn't make me go back to the beginning, though, of all the hackers or hacking stuff. That would be extremely annoying, and I would get so angry. Because I'm, I'm bound to fail one of these. Alright, so, run through them. You know, I don't really care about hitting all of them. I just do my best to make through this. I mean, it's not like it gives you experience or anything. Just run through it. That's the best I have. That's the best advice I could give for anyone to this. After we do all these hacking stuff, that will be it for this episode. Because this is probably going to take a little while. <laughs> um, and that's actually three videos recorded, guys. So be, uh, well, you, of course, you're expecting them. Because the other three are already up. Or not. Yeah, they're already, uh, other, yeah, other two. Whatever. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this one done. Um, I'm wondering if, um, hey, can you, can anybody answer this for me? Um, I know in Sly Thieves in Time, or I don't, I don't even know if it's called Sly 4 Thieves in Time, but whatever it's called, um, there's like, it's like, I know you get, you go back in time, that's why it's called Thieves in Time, and in Sly 3, he talks about working on a time machine, so that's that, I'm pretty sure that's right, you can clarify me for that, but here's the part I want to ask you. I, aren't, don't you play with some ancestor? So what I'm guessing is that you're going back in time because your ancestor didn't fix something right or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe you gotta help him or something. Um, because I'm pretty sure you. I watched an interview or whatever where he played with his ans like he plays with his ancestor. But right here you might want to destroy him because they're gonna be shooting at you. And I'm already hurt pretty bad. But. I'm just curious, is that how it wor it's gonna work? Um, because if it is, that's pretty cool, because the guy you get to play as, is, the ancestor's pretty awesome look, or I think he's pretty awesome. Can't remember which one he invented or what he did, but I just, I think it's gonna be cool. Oh, you fag. That sucks. Alright, we got that one now. Just run into it. That'll destroy it. <laughs> Crap, stay away. Maybe they'll keep coming in front of me and I'll just keep shooting them down. Yep. <laughs> They're stupid. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of me and Brooks who we are playing some Call of Duty or whatever. Because we're bored. We're, we have nothing to do or anything. But we were playing and um, there's this there's thing they call survival mode. It's kind of like zombies or whatever. Because they have guns. And this. And um, Brooks, Brooks isn't what you call really good at Call of Duty. So, his strategy... What the crap, man? <laughs> Was to sit in this air, like this house, and the the enemies will just climb up the ladder and let him kill him. It was the funniest thing in the world to watch, cause I mean it's so easy. I mean anybody could do it. All right, I hear a train. Okay, it's I don't know. It's scary. You know, train coming right after me. You know, it's kind of scary. But um, it was really funny to see that happen. Uh, but. I don't, I don't know about the slide thing. I really that'd be I think that'd be cool if they did that, but I honestly don't know. Now right here you can kill them if you want. I just try to dodge their bullets or whatever, because I mean they're gonna keep coming after you anyway, no matter how many. Just don't get trapped like that, like I did. All right, we're good. Well, at least we made it. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if we're at the bottom of our health or anything. But in the last part, if you missed that, that battle against Rajan or whatever his name is, that was ridiculous. Man, it was, he was so... One more hit, he would have been dead, and I died. That just had to happen. Crap. I'm going to worry about getting these right now. What I like to do is just go like this. Like, you go down the road, pretty much. And it knocks them all out pretty fast. Or you can just shoot straight, but I like doing that better. Come on, stop. Now, you notice, I can't get through. What do I do? All you got to do is, you know, destroy those. Go in this one. Just swim over here. I don't know. I doubt you're swimming, but I think it's really cool how they did the hacks, hacking in this game. I thought it was pretty cool. How you get to go in and stuff, and you actually got to shoot through it. It reminds me of Spyro th uh, 3. Uh, whatever, I don't remember what it's called, but how I look at that. That is the most irreal, e whatever, re realistic thing I've ever seen. Now, I know you're seeing me get trophies. I'm just gonna go and show you. Um, I already have this platinum. Um, it doesn't show it, it doesn't show that either, or that. I don't even think it, sh it, it shows slide one, but for some reason, it doesn't show this. I have this platinum. Um, 
you probably you'll you would see it on part one or whatever but just so you know i just wanted to go and clarify that but that is it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for the next part where we will continue on Bentley mission and hopefully we will end up rescuing Sly sometime soon. That would be nice. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to get these videos out for you guys. So leave some feedback. Tell me what you think about the Sly 4th season time. Um, if you have any new updates about it, you know, definitely link me. Um, I will be greatly appreciate that. And also, if you want to add me on PlayStation or PSN or whatever and play with me and my brother and Brooks. That is completely fine. You know, you can just add me and I'll make a room. I'm probably going to end up starting a series where I'll just play with friends or uh, subscribers and stuff. I don't know what I call it or anything, but I play with them on PlayStation, Xbox, or Wii. I have them all, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not rich or anything, but how do I get up there? Ugh! Can I? Oh, crap. I'm in a odd position right now. But as I escape... Hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Maybe they won't see me in the box. Oh, they're gonna see me. Crap. I, basically, what I like to do right here is get away, shoot them with your sleep darts. It normally works, but it didn't work that because I was already hurt too bad. All right, guys, United Gamer here, and I'll see you guys next time.